Hi everybody, um, it's three weeks post-op and I saw Dr. Duchik and Maureen, Dr. J I got my stitches out of my head and I'm going to see him in January for my three month follow-up and we'll just see where I'm at but we're both pretty hopeful that he finally got all of the bad icky nerves out of my head. Um, after that appointment, I went right upstairs and saw Maureen and she, you know, does the full, you know, intense examinations of like my, um, pain and, you know, what my restrictions are in my eyes because I'm having, I'm just going to point it out to you because my dad and I have been joking about that I'm going to join the circus, but I'm having a lot of heavy lid on my left eye. And obviously it's because, you know, Dr. Duchuk took three nerves out from, you know, he went in through my left eye and did three nerves from the forehead and then two nerves on the side. And, um, but Maureen did a lot of exam with my eyes and turned the lights off and had me do all these exercises and stuff. And, and she said that there's still a lot of swelling that, I mean, I don't see the swelling, but obviously a doctor would see that there's swelling. And Dr. Dutrick did say that there's still swelling. So what Maureen explained is that the muscles are so weak still from the surgery. Cause I was like, I just always feel like I need to have my left eye closed. Like it feels like such hard work to keep my left eye open and you know it's dry but yet it waters and you know that was the eye that the blood was coming out of in post-op that you know so I was really scared that there was going to be a problem because there is a risk when you have the zygomaticula nerve removed with your eyelid there's a risk that you'll either never be able to open your eyelid again or you'll never have full use but after Maureen did her full exam, she concluded that every my eyelids are opening completely symmetrical and my eyeballs look, you know, exactly the way they're supposed to. I don't have any weird, like, whatever. And she said that there's no side effects. It's all healing. The muscles are just really weak. So I was very happy to hear that. So... Now it's just, you know, the waiting game, long recovery, going back to see Maureen in a month. And right now she told me I'm on like full restrictions. I basically am allowed to go up and down my stairs like two times a day. I can't carry anything. I can't lift anything. I can't like even do laundry. She said even the motions of like bending and folding and but I'm probably going to do that. But so, you know, um, my dad, um, he just left. Um, so really yesterday was my three week post-op, but I didn't have a chance to do a video cause I was spending the last day with my dad and I already miss him. And, um, I have been watching like TV and just being preoccupied so I don't cry and I know that I'll see him again soon and he was a huge help and I had the rocking chair up here and he sat in it every day and when he was leaving right before he was leaving I was like you need to go put that down in the living room because I, I can't stare at that empty chair I'll just cry all day <laughs> every day so my main thing now is um, and I emailed Dr. Duchik. We discussed about the foundation because now I really want to move forward with starting, you know, getting that up and running. I mean, I obviously, I can't do any, I mean, I'm not working. I can't work. I don't feel good enough. I can't be on the computer, but I'm going to just send Dr. Duchik a really quick email on what I want what like the purpose of the foundation is and it's basically just going to be to raise money for the peripheral nerve institute at Georgetown for Dr. Duchek and only for him because I've even seen without even getting into a lot of detail with Dr. Duchek 
in our discussions, but it's advanced so much just in the two years, well, the 23 months that he did five surgeries on me. So I um, am just reaching out, you know, to a lot of people. Well, I haven't yet, but I've kind of put like bugs and, you know, little uh, bird, you know, just little, I can't talk. I've just, you know, I've opened up to a, a few people and they're like, okay, well, we need to know when you have that up and running so we can send money. And I'm just pleading my case to anybody out there. It's a non it'll be a nonprofit organization. Obviously, it'll go directly to the Peripheral Nerve Institute. I, like I said, I don't know like what the checks will be made out to, but it's going to be, you know, the Jessica Moore Foundation. I mean, my name will be on it. It's going to be for Dr. Duchek and any additional research that he needs to do or funding for, um, you know, he put in when he did my eye surgery, he had to go in and put, I'm going to totally say it wrong. That's why he needs to be so involved. And, um, I'm only going to do just the, the, you know, help raising awareness of how he saved my, this nerve Institute, Dr. Tuchik saved my life. And then he can do the medical part, but you know, he put some kind of, you know, connector rods, you know, in the nerve endings. And that's so not what they are, but I, you know, he did it in the forehead because there is a chance that those nerves could grow back or attach to other nerves because I guess in your forehead you don't have enough muscle or something. I don't know. I can't, Again, I can't explain because half the time that he's telling me I'm still on like heavy narcotics because it's so close to, po you know, surgery. And But he doesn't have to do it in the other areas of my head because there is so much muscle mass and there's no risk. So just stuff like that, like... You know, Georgetown is in need of funding, and I want to put my patient story up there, and there's thousands of other patient stories. And again, you know, he you have to go through so many different steps to get to Dr. Duchek. He's the end of the road. You know, he, he, you can't just go to Dr. Duchek and be like, oh, well, I have a really bad headache every day. You know, he wants to see that you've seen a neurologist, that you've had this test done, and that you maybe tried medications and that this, this, I mean, he, like I've said before in my other videos, you know, because he won't operate on anybody. He does turn people away and it's, it's not, you know, a bad thing. It's because it just shows that, you know, he does this for people that he knows it'll help. He's not just a surgeon that will just throw you on the operating table because, oh, well, you know, it's another surgery. He's not doing this to make, you know, a, be a, you know, a wealthy, you know, quadrillionaire. He's such a humble doctor and this is his baby that he started and he just wants to help and continue to make people pain free. And I'm really excited because he said in my last appointment that eventually now we'll, you know, I'll be working with my neurologist to slowly wean off my medications. So it's all great news. Um, there was some talk of a possible sixth surgery, but we're just not, you know, I think that what he explained to me when he went in in this area that he was able to see, and I think it's somehow connected to the back of the ears, and then when he did this one, he was able to get that nerve. And so far to date, I haven't felt that pain behind my ears, so I'm hoping nothing flares up because that's been my life story, but I'm remaining positive. And the way he was explaining to me, he was, I think he got it. So, you know what? Um... We'll just see in January, but so far, so good. I mean, the pain I have right now is just, I still feel like he cut my head open and let everybody in the operating room just, you know, take a good swing at me. Um, so I'm um, continuing to expand everything in my wardrobe and Ella's wardrobe, purple. Ashley told me that she's kind of getting, you know, she sent me this beautiful painting she did in one of her classes and of course it was purple and I just loved it and it's kind of it's not obnoxious because purple is the color for national headaches for the national headache society and 
I am going to slowly start switching over once we get the foundation start. I mean, Jessica George, Jessica Moore's journey is never going to go away. I mean, I have my bracelet and I have all my t-shirts and I will slowly switch stuff over to, um, the name that we all agreed on. Um, everybody loves it. I'm going to get it trademarked. You know, we already bought the rights to the website. Well, my husband did all that. So I'm just really excited, you know, and now it's time. Like, I don't care if somebody sends me $10, $15, $5. So I'll let everybody know as soon as, um, we get that figured out because it's going to be all managed through Georgetown University Hospital. So as soon as we get that all up and running, I'm going to be on here chit-chatting away and letting you all know what to do. And then, um, yeah, so um, overall, just I still have to take it easy. And then at my four weeks with Maureen, she said that we'll... She's going to assess me and to see how I'm feeling and where I'm at. And then she's hopefully by that time... I'll be ready to start physical therapy because as of right now, I mean, I get out of bed, I take a shower and I just like, I almost fainted the other day. I lose my breath. I see stars a lot and it's sad because I used to be so active and she promised and assured me that you're going to get, you know, I've come this far, you're going to get back to that person again. It's just going to take a, a really long time. And she kept saying, just take it slow, take it slow. So that's what I keep telling myself. Cause like in the morning, like when the alarm goes off, it's like to, to deal with Ella. Cause you know, I still stay on the first floor, but I pick out her clothes and I do her hair, but it's like, I forget. And it's like the alarm goes off and I, sometimes I jump out of bed and I'm like, whoa. And I fall back into bed because I just forget and I just have to take it slow, take it slow. So anyway, that's all for now. Jen brought over at another amazing dinner last night and, you know, just, I know that a lot of people have been reaching out to me via text and calling and I've kind of gone into hiding and I am going to start reaching back out. I've just always need my time. It's, you know, not that it's difficult. You just have to heal and kind of chill. So I really appreciate all the love and support from my friends and, you know, my family and love to you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.